I needed to live in New York because New York was kind of like the biggest, loudest, dirtiest, most intense city. That's just where I needed to be. When my mother doesn't like my work and she tells me it's because you do bad woman. Either she is a whore or she is a good woman. I don't give a judgment. I like all my women in my canvases. They're my friends. And I think you can see that. I used to always joke when I was younger that most of representation of women was women lounging about naked. While I would love to be doing that, it wasn't my reality. To come to America is very difficult. For me, it was like starting from zero. And you know, in my age, to start again from zero is not easy. But you know, I, I said, okay, let's try. I never imagined having children. I didn't know how to cook when I was married. You were the last one that left the house, and then I, then my career took off. <laughs> I don't know why, I just love like this kind of like fantastical idea about like what we could build for ourselves. I was one of the founding 20 members of an all women's gallery. I mean, that was very exciting, but I knew that being a, a woman artist in a women's group was to say the least, that was kind of marginal. You know, and it's like, my mother died, I had my retrospective, my bird disappeared now. Like, the mom, I just bought six of my prints, and now, did I tell you that? It was an, an obsession with me. I did art because I didn't want to die. It was more of survival. The fight never stops. And I feel that I'm fighting with this woman warrior of sorts in my own particular way.